So today I want to talk all about Copenhagen because things have been going absolutely insane. And some of this was kind of expected, but in a lot of ways, Copenhagen is acting very, very different than Paris had. Uh, Paris, you know, broke so many rules, so many laws, so many things that seem to not make sense were happening during Paris. But in Copenhagen, it seems like we might be getting more back to the status quo. Uh, and there's some changes that I think a lot of people might be shocked with. And a lot of people are kind of wondering what the heck is going on right now, what to do and what might be going forward, uh, might be going on uh, going forward in the future. And that's what we're going to be talking about, uh, hopefully, maybe making some sense of that in this video today. Um, but of course, first, I just want to mention real quick, if you are looking to sell any of your CS2 items and turn them into cold, hard cash or crypto or any other payment method or whatever uh, you are looking for, definitely hit me up over on Twitter. It's going to be the first link in the description below. Um, now that a lot of these peer-to-peer -peer websites are getting back up and running, Float seems to be running really smooth, Buff, Buff Market, all these sites. I uh, want to start ramping up my cash training once again, hopefully helping you guys, um, like I said, cash out uh, for you know IRL money or if you're looking to change your inventories or whatever you need hit me up and we can probably get a deal done. I've been getting some deals done over the past couple of days. Things are starting to pick back up again, which I'm definitely excited about. Um, with that being said, let's get right into this. So, uh, Obviously, the Copenhagen sale started a couple of days ago. I think it's been like two or three days at this point. And again, I was expecting or what, what a lot of people were expecting or what would make sense is if a lot of these sticker prices started to go down. Um, I think the last video I made like a week or a week and a half ago or something, we had two stickers below that dollar price point. Um, and that dollar price point isn't really that significant. It's just kind of what I'm using as like a, a kind of a guide because obviously, uh, again, I was talking about how um, we really need those prices or you'd want those prices to be way, 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 way lower than a dollar. And historically, that's what we had seen seen in stuff like Stockholm and Antwerp. And I know Stockholm isn't a one-to-one -one comparison with Antwerp or with Paris or with Copenhagen or whatever, because they have foils and now there's glitters and it changes up the rarities and all that stuff. But um, comparing Antwerp to Copenhagen and Paris should be a lot, a lot closer. And during the Antwerp, we saw a lot of stickers being under a dollar. We saw some stickers as low as 22 cents. Um, but obviously, we weren't going to see that for Copenhagen, at least until the sale started. But once that sale started again, we were um, wanting to see prices drop. That was definitely going to be a good sign. But it's not exactly what we saw with Paris. And with Paris, we never saw prices drop to um, those points that uh, we necessarily would have wanted them to be at. And that's because there was a lot of overhype, a lot of overinvestment. Yes, there was a lot of um, uh, quantity and stuff, which, again, would make sense why the price would go down. But um, there there was just a lot of stuff that wasn't necessarily making sense. But obviously for Copenhagen, again, getting back to the basics of, hey, the stuff's on sale. More people are buying these. More people are opening these. There's going to be more stickers on the markets. Obviously, prices should be going down. And damn, that is what we saw in a big, big, big way. Again, last time we checked in, there was only two stickers below a dollar and they were just like barely below a dollar. I don't know what Amcall and Mongols were at if they were at, um, you know, 90 cents or 80 cents or 70 cents or whatever. But now, Things have gotten shaken up so, so, so much. And uh, one of the funniest things I wanted to mention right at the beginning is Ents, because I said this in the last video. I believe Ents was like a dollar fifty. 30, 40, 20, somewhere in there, but it was also like the fourth or fifth um, least expensive sticker. And I was like, oh, this is weird because Ents, uh, you know, in Paris didn't do very well and it still doesn't look very good. And we have so many Ents stickers and it's always just a circle with an ugly logo. This hollow effect doesn't look that cool. Why is this one ahead of so many of these other stickers? Um, and Ents has had one of the biggest fall offs and the biggest drop offs because again, Ents was above a dollar previously. And now it's down to the second cheapest sticker in the entire collection. Not only that, it's down to 47 cents, which is just a very, very, very crazy um, low price. Um, of course, Amcall as well. Um, I, I want to click into some of these to actually look, but I know that Steam Market sucks at kind of like loading and I don't want it to be too horrible. But um, yeah, we can see Amcall before was at 89 cents and now it's down to 38 cents. And that's just in three days. Um, that is a very, very big, steep, quick drop off, which is very, very crazy. But again, at the end of the day, um, yes, this is a good sign, but these uh, still, you would like the, the prices, especially for the cheapest stickers, especially for the least desirable stickers, stuff like, uh, especially stuff like Ents and Mongols and stuff like that, that isn't even unique to the Copenhagen collection. I still think you would want them to be a little bit cheaper and maybe you'd never even want to buy uh, into stuff like Mongols or Ents or even Vitality or Pain, you know, stuff that has multiple different um, borderless sticker alternatives out there already and doesn't necessarily look that good. Um, but again, these prices are from the end of the sale of Antwerp and we saw that there was two stickers uh, below 30 cents. We had fours and big, um, both at 20, uh, 25 and 22 cents respectively, which is really crazy. And again, we're not at that point just yet. And uh, yes, you could say, hey, um, Antwerp prices were going to be a little bit lower because there wasn't as much investing in that time. There wasn't as much hype or content creation or social media buzz or whatever. Um, but also I could argue, hey, these prices should be even cheaper because there is um, you know, going to be higher quantities and stuff like that right now. There is more players in the game. There is more investment and stuff going on. There is more hype surrounding it. Um, so yes, it's going to bring up some of the demand, but it's also going to bring up some of the quantities and stuff like that as well. But um, no matter what, I do think it's a good time that these prices are looking much, much, much cheaper than Paris. Um, if we do zoom out all 
the way back to what was going on with like the big um, again this is the cheapest hollow from Antwerp at that time uh, just kind of looking at things um, we can zoom into this area a little bit here on CSGO stocks and we can see that I believe this is the day uh, June 3rd of 2022 that the Antwerp sale actually started where it went from 45 cents down to 26 cents but again this was not the cheapest time to buy it this is kind of where we're at with Copenhagen right now in kind of this period um, we can see over the next uh, like month five weeks whatever uh, the price actually hit the lowest on July 12th again that's after the sale started on, on June 3rd so again about five weeks after the sale started that's actually when we saw prices hit a bottom going from 26 cents the day the sale started down to 17 cents that day then kind of had this weird random rebound then ended up hitting lower and lower and lower prices. I believe the sale ended around um, this first week of August. I believe this thing ended at 22 cents. So again, first day of 26 down to 22, hit some lower peaks in between, but then even after the sale ended, prices still um, started going even lower. So again, we don't know what's necessarily going to happen with Copenhagen at this point, but uh, man, this is definitely crazy to see one, two, three, four, five, six stickers under a dollar. Um, you have some very, very interesting, uh, unique stickers to Copenhagen being ecstatic and legacy. Again, between the two, I personally like ecstatic more. Um, I don't know if it looks better or whatever, but I just think it has a lot more craftability. Again, a lightning bolt is going to be way easier to use on a ton of different stickers, a ton of different crafts. It's going to have a ton of diff uh, different more use cases, at least in my opinion. Um, and I think it just it's going to hold up a little bit better, but it's also going to depend, hey, when do we get uh, the next uh, borderless alternative for some of these stickers and stuff as well, which is just kind of why borderless stickers probably suck. Uh, and again, you have to keep in mind that also Copenhagen probably just doesn't look that good in general. But with a lot of these stickers getting closer to a dollar, um, I do think they become a lot more attractive. But again, uh, Stickers like that should probably even be under a dollar uh, to see those um, better returns and stuff like that that people are going to be looking for. It's just crazy to me how fast and how hard so many of these stickers fell. Um, like this is the Saw Hollow, um, which again is another one that I think is pretty interesting because it's a unique um, borderless sticker to Copenhagen. But look at the prices that we were at before. We were at, this is insane. I mean, this is $4.38 three days ago. Uh, and this is how fast this thing has fallen off. It's down to $1.76 just three days later after being, you know, 4 or $5 throughout much of the pre-sale um, for Copenhagen, which is crazy. And again, this Saw one becomes a lot more interesting, a lot more attractive at a dollar seventy two, which I think is probably still a little bit too much for it, but maybe getting closer than it was at four or five dollars. Four or five dollars just made no sense. But again, that's pre-sale prices, so you shouldn't really even factor those in or consider those too much. But again, this is a unique borderless sticker. This one has a lot of craftability. I know there's going to be a lot of people who are using this as like a triangle shape, as like a letter A for a bunch of different crafts and writing and, and spelling stuff out and whatever. Uh, but I, I just uh, obviously I thought prices were going to fall, but to see them fall this much uh, is pretty surprising to me, and I think it's surprising to a lot of other people as well. Um, um, we have a bunch of other stickers, uh, you know, Team Spirit below $2 now. Um, we have Gamer Legion at $222, Virtus Pro at $244. Miles being at $3 is crazy. I do want to check the top. I have not seen the top couple stickers just yet, so it's going to be, um, you know, just as su surprising to me as other people. Because I know some of these stickers were $13, $14, 15 $18 before stuff like Koi and Cloud9 and Lin Vision. Um, so if this ever loads, actually getting to see what these prices are now should be pretty interesting. Um, but of course, this thing never wants to load. So Koi down to $10, um, Cloud9 down to $9.39, Lin Vision $7.22, Furious $6.22. If we do look at the top stickers from Antwerp at that time, we'll see that Cloud9 was $7.75. Um, but it didn't get very good gains until very recently. Um, so yeah, a lot of these top stickers from Antwerp actually didn't see that great of gain. So yeah, even though you can say, hey, Hey, Antwerp had stickers at seven dollars and six dollars and four dollars and three fifty. Again, keeping in mind that those didn't have that great of return. So, um, yeah, a lot of these super expensive stickers, even though some of them might be really cool and look good, like Furia, like Lin Vision, like Cloud Nine, like Koi. Um, still, a lot of these prices just don't really make sense in terms of actually probably being able to get returns or whatever. Um, so again, we'll kind of have to wait and see what happens with that. Um, we do have, uh, of course, the ROI numbers and stuff for Copenhagen now. Um, you can look at COS ROI and see that. Copenhagen contenders, challengers, and challengers autograph and legends, you know, their ROI is around 73, 72, 60, 52 percent, whatever. And that might seem decent because um, if you look at stuff right now, you have like Paris, um, you can see their ROIs are like 57, 56, 52. So you, Copenhagen actually has higher, higher ROIs. We also have to keep in mind, I believe I have uh, Bronco's tweet pulled up here um, where he says, I don't recommend opening Copenhagen capsules for now with an unboxing ROI of 67 percent at best. You're expected to lose a third of your money each unbox. When Paris uh, first went on sale, it uh, was able to hold a huge 90 percent ROI um, for mini capsules so the new stickers must have less demand again here is that screenshot from Paris showing that they had 86 84 82 um, so even though Copenhagen is above some other capsules right now again that sale just started so those other prices are still going to be high those prices are still coming down right now and it also just shows that the overall demand is much less for Copenhagen which isn't shocking that's what we know um, but it's going to be hard to gauge exactly how much less and then also um, you know what the quantities and supplies are going to be how long the sale is going to last these are all things are going to keep uh, you're going to keep in mind to understand whether or not 
not Copenhagen is going to be a smart or profitable or wise investment or whatever. Who knows? We'll have to wait and see from here. Um, but just kind of wanted to get this info out to you guys because it has been crazy and has been shocking how far the sticker prices have fallen um, so fast. And it's definitely going to be something to keep an eye out over the next couple of weeks and months. Uh, and as we see how long this sale lasts uh, and where things go from here. But that's pretty much it for this video today, guys. Hopefully catch you in the next one. Until then, peace.